So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to find certain cores in the game of Valheim. Certain cores used for a number of things, including these portals you see here behind me. If you want a tutorial on how to use portals, there'll be a link down in the description to a video on that. So to find certain cores, the first thing you're going to need to find is a Black Forest biome. You'll see that I found a few throughout my map here, and when you hover over it, it'll say Black Forest in the top right of the map. I'm going to show you guys what a Black Forest biome looks like in just a sec, and also what a burial chamber looks like and how to sort of find and use those. However, before you go and attack the burial chamber, here is what I recommend that you take with you first of all a good variety of food as you see i have here as you'll know eating a variety of food will give you extra hit points there are going to be mobs inside the burial chambers including skeletons and also ghosts and because of that you do want to be buffed up before you go in there talking of which make sure you take lots of weapons and armor with you so wear the best armor you've got which for me right now is troll armor if you can do better than that do it if you can't just make the best of what you can also having a ranged weapon not a bad idea the range weapon can be particularly useful against a ghost and we'll have a look at that later as well but also do make sure you've got a shield and a good melee weapon for the up close combat and you might also want to consider the stag breaker hammer now the stag breaker is a bit of a two-way thing with its benefits because not only does it do a fair bit of damage as an early game weapon against multiple mobs you can smash it on the floor and you guys are going to see this later in the episode and it will attack multiple mobs at once by hitting it but it will also take out skeleton spawners which you will sometimes find in the burial chamber so this will prevent more skeletons from spawning while you're there and just make things a bit safer now do know if you do destroy the spawner that spawner itself will not of course respawn so if you want to like farm skeletons later on you may want to consider keeping it there uh, but that's just entirely up to you in order to make the stag breaker you need to go to your workbench once you've got pine wood pine wood can be found from a black forest biome so you'll need to go there with your axe first before you can make the stag breaker then as you can see here you'll need this core wood which you get from chopping down those pine trees five deer trophies which you get from killing deer two leather scraps which you get from killing boar once you've got all that stuff and you are geared up you can head on over one thing you might want to do when you're out exploring and you go to get your pine wood from the black forest biome is to open up the map and make a bit of a marker you can select different markers from the right hand side here then simply double left click on the map to add the marker and even call it whatever you want by typing in text if you want to mark a location and remember it for later so with that in mind let's go and explore the black forest biome and see what those barrel chambers are all about so when you're out exploring a black forest biome is characterized by these big fir trees you'll see a lot of them in the black forest biome and that's sort of how you know that you are in one that and of course on the top right of the screen as i said it will say black forest so that's a bit of a giveaway <laughs> uh, what we're looking for is this structure right in front of us here guys this is a burial chamber so if we go up to this burial chamber uh this is the back but if you go around to the other side here we go here's the front this is how you get in so before entering i recommend normally you wield weapons i've explored this one before as it turns out i actually hadn't explored this one before but it does make for better footage so enjoy so the only thing i'm actually going to wield is a torch so that i can show you guys a bit better on screen so there you go you go up to it you press e to enter and here we go so as you can see very dark in here which is why you may want the torch and you'll always see these doors that you can go through and explore so for example we press e go through here and explore now as i said if you haven't explored this before and cleared it out oh even if you have there we go skeletons so you know what there's a skeleton right there let me uh, go into that room once i'm geared up and show you guys how to fight them okay so apologies for it being a bit dark on screen it's going to be necessary unfortunately i'm going to show you guys a few different things though um, the reason it's necessary is i can't hold a torch whilst also holding a shield and weapon what i'm going to do is start off with the stag breaker hammer so i've got no shield right now but this is currently equipped and uh, it needs two hands i come in here and the skeletons on the floor and boom we can hit with our hammer and as you saw there both skeletons there taking a fair bit of damage just straight off the back and with three hits we've killed both of those skeletons okay now there's another one coming here and uh, we want to actually just get out of here a little bit so he doesn't kill us but uh, i just want to show you how to melee these guys so there we go we hit him you'll see they run up to you and they take quite a big swing if i let him run up take that swing you can actually stand back from them not too not too bad there we go so boom and obviously if you get stuck in a corner like i did there that's not going to help but you see here if i fight him in the open he'll come up take a big swing and we can step back so when you're exploring these these are the options you have the hammer just gives you that benefit if there's several in a room all at one time uh, so now what we want to do is make sure we're eating food i actually thought this one was empty so i didn't bother eating food before i came in um, but here we go i, I was wrong <laughs> it's hard to remember all the ones i've explored and haven't so then you're just going to continue exploring through guys you will find chests and there we go we've got all these goodies in the chests so you get rubies and gold and stuff like that as you can see and also oh here we go so this is perfect in this room we have a ghost and we have the certain cause now because uh, i was expecting to find a ghost i didn't mention this but uh, one thing you might want to bring with you is a ranged weapon to fight the ghost with because you sort of come out shoot the ghost and then hide from it come out shoot the ghost here if you've got a bow and you can sort of repeat that process um, so what i'm going to do right now is just try and block this with my shield and see if we can fight this guy there we go uh, so you can fight him with melee it's just 
depending on what stage of the game you're at, you might find it easier to do it with a ranged weapon. What you'll notice, though, is when he shoots, let me shoot at us, we can get about two hits in, then block again. So it's hard to get the timing perfect, but sometimes you'll find that. But you should be able to get at least one hit and then try to block. Just keep an eye on your hit points. I mean, mine right there, I'm still on 92, so I'm good. Um, but yeah, do keep an eye on them. Okay, perfect. So what we'll do now, let's get the um, torch going to make this a bit better for you guys. You can see what's happening. So as you see, we found some certain cores. There's one there. There's another one there. We also found ourselves two rubies right there, a couple of amber, and some bones around here. So do like look around these things fully and explore them because you'll find all different things on the floor and all that sort of stuff. Um, you'll even find these things down here. Right? These are mushrooms, which just down to my left there, you can see these mushroom things, right? So those mushrooms are yellow mushrooms. They are a food source. You can eat them uh, if you so wish. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how you're going to find your certain cores. Do make sure to explore the entire burial chamber because you will find rooms like this, which have a lot of certain core in them. And you will also just find other goodies around, other certain cores, and also other chests and rubies and stuff like that as you can see here uh, again do check the table we've got some amber there some amber pearls there and in the chest here again we've got some more gold and stuff like that so you do want to exhaustively search through the burial chambers as you will find lots of goodies along the way so from that trip guys here's what we found nine certain cores that is a personal record for me so maybe don't expect to find nine every time but yeah that's, that's a lot but it's you know pretty good uh, then we got a load of bones as you see here a skeleton trophy some amber pearls amber rubies and a fair amount of coins as well so these burial chambers are very useful and that guys is how you're going to find certain cores and all this other loot in the game of Valheim. Guys I really hope this video helped if it did please do consider liking and subscribing for more it really is greatly appreciated but for now I just want to say thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you'd like to watch my live streams of Valheim do check out my Twitch the link is down in the video description where I stream Valheim for hours on end on a regular basis.